my dear brothers and sisters. Yeah, we are still here at the Divine Mercy Center. Good things can never come to an end here at Divine Mercy Center, one after another, one after another. This is really the mercy of God. And I want to thank you for following this pilgrimage. I continue to ask you to share this pilgrimage. If you watch it on, on WhatsApp, on YouTube, if you watch it on on Facebook at Ayinajena Grace Morris, please don't be selfish. Share, 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 and make sure you subscribe to my YouTube by clicking on the YouTube channel. So good things are still here. And we are still enjoying. Amen. So here, I'm here by this wonderful person whom I pray and ask him that he may give me the grace to touch him. And this is none other than Saint Padre Pio. Amen. This is the image of Saint Padre Pio, as you can see him here. Oh God, it's as if he's, he's just looking at us. Many of you know his story. Amen. You know the story of St. Padre Pio. From 19, I think 1917, he got the wounds of Jesus. 1917 or 1918 there. Amen. 1718, 1918 or 1917. He had the wounds of Jesus. On his, you can see here. Let me take you there and you see it. You can see here in his palms. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Let me see if I can put the light, if you can see clearly. You can see here in the palms, here is, are his wounds, the wounds of Jesus. Also in another palm, there is a wound of Jesus here. And then at his heart and at the feet, he had the wounds of Jesus until 1968. For three years, he was carrying the wounds of Jesus. And he worked many miracles by the grace of God. And he accepted his suffering in a very special because it was a painful thing to have those wounds. They were accusing him falsely all the time. He was being persecuted by his own brothers. It's a powerful story to follow and read. And I know many of you can read on internet. You can get books and read about him. I have many books about him. If you contact me, I'll help you. So thank you so much, for dear God, for bringing us St. Padre Pio here. We know this is just an image, but we know he's presenting him. Probably he has just come in there and is there. So St. Padre Pio, we love you so much, Padre Pio. I remember one of the miracles that I have received through his intercession. Uh, two, there are many, but I want to tell you two of the greatest miracles I have received by asking him to pray for me. One of them is I asked him to give me a ministry, a prayer group. And that was 2014. I have just got converted and become, I mean, I was a Catholic case, but I got converted. I met Jesus in a very special way and I gave my life to Jesus and I said, I want to serve you, Jesus. All of my being serve you completely without anything else, holding on to anything else. And I asked Father Pio, how would I serve? And I asked him to help me begin a ministry through which I can serve the Lord. And I remember the first prayer group I formed with Margaret Latkunda and Martin Muchunguzi was called Our Lady of St. Padre Pio. Our Lady of St. Padre Pio and St. Faustina. Amen. <laughs> Our Lady of St. Padre Pio and St. Faustina. And we were three people praying for the whole year and we were asking God to give us a ministry. And I was the prayer group leader for three people. <laughs> Hallelujah. So we always begin humbly, my dear brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. So here is your Padre Pio. Here is your Padre Pio. Amen. Here. Amen. Amen. So I asked him that I want a ministry. And I can, I, I can assure you that he answered my prayer. And now the ministry that by God's grace I'm leading it is more than 2,000 people in this ministry. 2,000. The team members alone are 50. The ones who are serving. For 2,000 plus. Powerful ministry. Having many ministries within intercession, pilgrimages, retreats, prayer meetings, seven sorrows, so much. And I know many of you are helping me in this ministry. And I thank God for you. Those who, who have given me the grace to serve them and to lead them. Thank you so much for this favor, for this blessing. And I pray that I will always serve you and for you to pray for me. So St. Padre Pio granted me this grace, as you can see here. Amen. The second grace he granted to me, I used to go to his shrine in Kaura Muriro, in Entebbe. Those who know Uganda, Kaura Muriro, St. Padre Pio shrine, where the Capuchin priests have a shrine. And I, I, would, I would find his image like this, which is there as you come in, and I would bless it and ask him, oh, dear Padre Pio, you loved Mother Mary so much. He had deep devotion for Mother Mary. He was always praying the rosary. And the one rosary you can see it is here. Always he was praying the rosary. 
and many of the intercession of the miracles he performed was because our dear mother Mary interceded for him. He was praying with her. She, she, Saint Padre Pio used to call her the Madonna. Amen. I remember a time when he was sick and he was almost dying. Padre Pio, he was sick and he was almost dying. Amen. That, and then the image of our Lady of Fatima was being moved around the world, especially in Europe, and in in uh, in Italy. They chose to take it to San Gian Ro, San Gian, San Giovanni Rotondo. That 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 simple village down there by then, and now it's a big city because of Padre Pio. So they took it around there because of Padre Pio, I think, and somehow he got energy to come out of his bed because he had been bedridden for some good weeks. But he got out of got the energy. I think Our Lady gave her the energy. She got out of the bed and then went to the window, and then the, the image of Our Lady was being thrown in a plane, but moved down from the plane, hanging and and being taken around the city's blessing, the city of San Giovanni Rotondo. And he got out of his window and he waved and prayed and cried to the Madonna. I can tell you that day God, Padre Pio got healed and he was restored to full health. In just an instant, the doctors had failed completely. But the Madonna, Our Lady, restored her health. So my dear brothers and sisters, our mother Mary is real. Saint Padre Pio is real. He loved him so much. So I used to go and cry to Padre Pio. Give me the love for Mother Mary. I want to love Mother Mary. I want to know her. I want to give my life to her. I want her to work in me wonders. I want to serve his son, her son. I want to have a devotion to our mother, and I can assure you, I can assure you that I am who I am because of Mother Mary, because I love that woman so much, and God has given me the grace to make many of you love her so much, and I pray that I may, I may be able to continue loving her and serving our dear mother. So thank you so much, Saint Padre Pio. So many graces that He has given me, so many blessings. I can talk about those for now, but here He is, and I want to bring Him to you now that you may come and hug Him. And as you hug him, may you ask for a particular favor. May you ask for a particular favor, a particular blessing. So he's there. He's here. You cannot come here in, in Kenya now because of issues. You cannot make it, transport. You cannot come. Pilgrims cannot come. But I was blessed to come. So now you can still come now in spirit and hug him. Second Corinthians chapter 5, verse 7. For we live by faith and not by sight. So here he is. Hug him. And as you hug him, tell him something, please. Whisper into his eyes something from wherever you are. And I can assure you he's going to grant it to you. St. Padre Pio, we love you so much. Begin to pray for your children. Begin to intercede for them. Begin to heal them because you are a wounded healer. You are given wounds of Jesus to heal many people. Heal those who are sick in heart. Heal those who are sick in body. Heal those who are sick in mind. Heal those who are, who are really having problems in their marriages, in their families. Those who have, who have lost the, the fire of prayer in your your prayer life was always constant. Give them the grace to pray at all times, oh dear Padre Pio. Give them the grace to pray the rosary. Give us the grace to pray the rosary at all times and believe in the intercession of Mother Mary and have that confidence and, and trust in our life that you had. So thank you, St. Padre Pio, for praying for us. Thank you for praying for your children. Those who are devoted to you, give them the grace to be devoted to you more and know you more and take you everywhere and talk about you, St. Padre Pio. And one time, one day, give us the grace to visit you where your body is still and has never rotted. One of the things that have happened is that the body of St. Padre Pio has never tested decomposition. The man who died in 1968, his body has never rotted. It is intact as the way it was. How sweet it is. So, Padre Pio, give us the grace that one day we shall come to San, Gian, San, Gian, San, San Giovanni Rotondo and we see you. And we pray in that wonderful shrine of Our Lady of Angels. Wow, I know it will happen in the name of Jesus. One of the gifts St. Padre Pio had was the gift of bilocation. He was able to appear in more than one place at the same time. There are many people who prayed for his healing in Uruguay, in the States, in America, in Europe, everywhere in Africa. And somehow he came and healed them and prayed for them. But he had never left San Giovanni Rotan all his life. When he was a priest, he had never left. But he, he was seen in America, in Europe. He was seen in Africa praying for people. People were pray, were, were, saw him come pray for them. Because he had a gift of bilocation. At the time, the time this man wanted to do confession and he wanted really to do confession. I think he had committed a grave sin and he was in the Vatican City and wanted to do confession. But when he was about to enter the confessional box, the priest got out. But he prayed, Padre Pierre, I want to confess. And with faith, he entered the confessional box. And then he found an old man with a beard. And that was Padre Pio. He confessed him. But he was in San Giovanni Rotondo because he had the gift of appearing in one place, in more than one place at the same time. Many other gifts he could see his guardian angel by, by, 
by by sight you could see him visible because I and you have a guardian angel around us close to us every moment from the, the day we fell in our mother's womb and we come to this world so him he could see him and he could even send his guardian angel whenever he would make a prayer program with anybody and especially the cappuccinos in the house let's pray let's wake up at 3 p.m to pray and they don't wake up or 3 a.m to pray he would send his guardian angel and wake him up and they would be he would wake them they would wake them up he would see mother mary he would read souls so many things that a wonderful confessor always in the confession listening listening to the sins of the people and these two quotations that i've told you already he said that he will never enter heaven until all his children have entered meaning that he said he will stay on the gates of heaven until all his spiritual children have entered so desire to be a spiritual child of saint padre pio and i can assure you he will never leave you outside heaven and lastly he said that it it would be rather good for him to die than to stay because when he dies that's when he will do much more when he's in heaven may he do much more for your life especially those who are devoted to him and those even who don't know him may he bless you in the name of the father son and the holy spirit amen